So the Killarney National Park forest fires. We're gonna see how bad it is. We're up at Moles Gap Pass up in the mountains at the moment. We're gonna drive down into Killarney National Park, down into Killarney itself. This is a road that the tour buses follow during the tourist season. We're gonna see how bad the fires actually are if they're close to the road. I'm kind of nervous, guys. Um, I've seen the reports, I've seen the pictures. It looks to be pretty bad. We're going to see how bad it actually is for when you're doing your ring of carry drive. This is going to be unscripted. This is going to be mostly unedited. I just wanted to get this information out to you. So current to hill and the Black Valley seem to be mostly unharmed. So this is where we start and that's where we're going down into Kalani National Park. First stop is just outside of Kisane Sheep Farm. We're looking down into the Black Valley. There, that little dent in the mountains, that is Cap of Dunlow. So far, so good. This seems to be all spared. So stop number two. We've just gotten into Killarney National Park proper. This is where, for the first time, you really start to see the fire damage. This is Upper Lake that we're looking over to. And that's right there towards the end, that whole ridge goes into Eagle's Nest and that seems to be hit the hardest for the moment not on the part where the Ring of Kerry itself uh, winds its way up into the mountains it's on the other side of Upper Lake. Stop number three ladies view this is where you can really start to see the damage that's the long range over there towards the meeting of the waters and Middle Lake a lot of damage has been done there but the other side, on the side of Torque Mountain, that seems to be relatively spared. That's where the Ring of Kerry drives past. That's a section there where the old Kenmare Road hikers go over the mountains. That all seems to be spared. So I have no idea how well this actually captures, but the earlier shots you could see it's pretty bad. Still, it looks like a lot was able to be uh, saved. Just a huge shout out to the gals and guys of the fire department who were able to do such amazing work. So we're at Eagle's Nest right now. It seems to be hit pretty darn hard. Can't really see it now with the sun just shining into the camera. But this has been pretty devastated on both sides of the, of the mountain. When we move over here, a little inlet there that is Kanikan Wood. You can't really get there as a hiker or when you're driving. Um, that one seems to be completely devastated as far as I can tell and then when we move over in the background you can see Shihi Mountain top parts seem to be okay but here the front part yeah it got the brunt this is also the place where you can just smell the smoke still sure forest fires are part of nature it's one of the ways that nature revitalizes itself I can tell myself that and I'll believe it in a couple of weeks but for now just as a local when you drive through this every day and just enjoy the beauty of it see it like this for now it's heartbreaking and we are at stop number five I'm just outside of Torque waterfall very close to Killarney town itself first impressions it's bad it's pretty darn bad the initial thoughts are that one third of the Kalani National Park has been lost. Yeah, it's not good. The good news for so far as there is, um, the effects for the places where the tourists go, so the hiking areas, the places where the Ring of Kerry itself uh, winds through, those seem to be mostly unaffected. That's the good news. So those are the first impressions. It might still change. Um, it's, it's still very early days. Normally I would say like, subscribe the video and stuff like that. This is not the video for that. I'm going to give you a different call to action. If you were thinking of going to the Ring of Kerry this year, please still do. With the lockdowns, the towns on the Kerry Peninsula have been hit hard. They thrive on tourism. And this last one plus year has been already really tough and this is just a kick after you're already down. So the fires, as far as I can tell right now, do not interfere with a fantastic Ring of Kerry experience. 
please still come. Having said that, hope that was of value. See you in the next one.